The question that we've been asked is how do we handle uh, taxes in Quebec? Uh, it's no different from Ontario, but this in Quebec, there are two things that you need to handle separately. One is your GST and other is your, your uh, uh, QST. So in, in U law, uh, you know, under the liability section, on, you know, under taxes, you have your HST for, uh, you know, Ontario province, uh, you know, GST and PST for uh, uh, provinces like uh, uh, Quebec and uh, British Columbia and others to track. So we, 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 we track payables and receivables completely separate. Uh, and there's also your taxes payable, which is your combined uh, uh, taxes, uh, you know, where you can move things to taxes payable and then move them, move funds from there into uh, a pay and to CRA or uh, Revenue Quebec or something like that. So let's walk through a Quebec example. So uh, in, in that case, you will go for a taxes and you will go for tax remittance. You will calculate your GST separately from your PST look at that like you know and the easiest way I always recommend people is moving your uh, liability to the taxes payable so you can always say hey uh, this is my GST I will move it to uh, my taxes payable I can say 874.78 and 155.94 Obviously, now you law says, hey, you owe tax to uh, the government. So you can just move it back to the taxes payable. Similarly, you can do the same thing for uh, uh, PST as well. You can say PST, and that's what you owe to revenue back or you know, uh, the, the appropriate province. Uh, and that's your PST that you can just say moving into taxes payable. Now, when you do that, <clears throat> right, and if I go to taxes payable, you clearly now, you will see that the HST and the PST got moved here and you have a balance of uh, $2,176.85 that you owe, right, as taxes. Now, one check has to go to Revenue Quebec and one has to go to the GST has to go to CRA so you know the CRA amount is 718 so you can say action taxes tax remittance and you can uh, sorry you can say action taxes taxes payable now because that's where you're transferring the money so you can say 718 point84 now you can write a check to revenue, uh, you know, to CRA. For, uh, you know, first quarter 2019, right? And you can write a check from your general account. And that's the check that's actually going to CRA, right? Now, there's another check that you might be writing to revenue to back that's your PST or your QST, you can say action, taxes, taxes payable, and now you can say 1458.01, and you can say taxes to the back, and you can say general, and this could be a different check number, and when you do that, you will see now your balance is zero. You return your two checks to CRA. So again, under the action button, when you do tax remittance, you can choose GST or PST. Transfer the amount intermediate to taxes payable. Like, you know, uh, you know, we will only allow you to transfer what's allowed. So you will take that quarter, transfer it, accumulate it in taxes payable. And then from taxes payable, you can decide, hey, what money goes to whom, and you can write your checks accordingly. And same thing you can handle and the same thing you can actually handle when you actually get refund as well. Like, you know, if you get a refund, uh, you know, bring it into taxes payable. Obviously now, you know, you'll have a balance, you know, because it'll be a debit entry and then, you know, bring it in as a tax refund.